I'm going to read our first online book, Giraffes Can't Dance by Gils Andre and Guy Parker. I can hear you all asking, Mrs. Becker, is it a wraparound? Let's check. What do you think? Mrs. Jones is videotaping me, so what do you guys, what do you think, Mrs. Jones? No, nope, I don't think it's a wraparound. No, nope, I don't think so either. Oops. All right, let's start it. Giraffes can't dance. There it is again. Giraffes can't dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Look at him. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. Ooh, right there it says jungle dance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came time to dancing, he was really very bad. Poor Gerald. Looks sad. His eyes kind of tell me he's a little sad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lion danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight bamboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Mrs. Becker, I'm hearing some rhyming words uh, in this book. I was just going to say that. I'm hearing a ton of rhyming words, too. Let's see if we can hear what the next rhyming word is. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming, and they soon began to roar. roar. I heard it. Floor roar. Hey, look at, hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald. How would tell if, if you have a friend or a family member wa watching this with you, tell them how that would make you feel if someone was teasing you while you were dancing. Probably not so good. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. I heard spot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. There he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. see that from the video if you can see the little cricket right there. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me the sweetest music is to those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. Mm, starting to dance. Looks like his legs are starting to be not so wobbly. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. And then he did a backyard, backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Oh, he looks like he might be getting a little happy. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth opened wide. Can you guys open your mouth wide? I'm dancing, yes I'm dancing, I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived, with Gerald, arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle! We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Oh, look at how proud he looks. His face is, he's so proud that he can dance. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. 
You guys all take a bow. Remember, that's bending over. Take a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. Bye, guys.